Hi, I'm Madeline, and we're at Crest today, and this is James, a researcher here. So James, why are condors being extinct? Well, Madeline, uh, condors face uh, a number of threats to their population numbers, uh, most of which come from humans, unfortunately. Um, that's why there's only about 300 of these birds alive in the whole world, um, because they, f they face uh, a number of threats, like uh, lead poisoning is a major one. Also, uh, a number of other uh, things will contribute to, to a drop in condor numbers like uh, hitting power lines and being electrocuted or eating garbage like plastic which gets lodged in their stomach which is also a source of mortality and, and also habitat loss is another major one. But uh, we here at Crest are trying to address these problems. We're conducting a lot of scientific research into the habitat use of these animals. And uh, For example, I'm looking at the social structure of these birds. And I've set up a, um, because this, the, the social uh, structure of the birds is very complex, they're very social animals, they live in tight social groups that they interact with a lot, and I've put a, a video camera mounted on a pole where these birds are being fed, and uh, this is actually going to show you uh, some feeding activity of the birds. What can the general public do to help condors? Uh, well, we're always very interested in hearing from members of the public who have seen condors in the wild. Um, we're tracking them using satellite technology, but it's always great to hear from people who have actually seen the birds in the wild and what they're doing. Um, other than that, uh, our um, programs are, uh, are expensive to run, so donations are always very, very welcome and go a long way to helping condor conservation. Thank you, James. Thank you.